Right, you lot. Let's talk Villa beating Ajax 4-0. And who we're going to play in the quarters and probably semi-finals of the UEFA Conference League. Yes, yeah, so in case you've been living under a rock, it has been a few days since the game has passed. I've been incredibly busy, but I've finally got a chance now to sit down, record this video and talk about Villa beating Ajax 4-0. It was a fantastic game. Uh, I think, you know, we absolutely played how we needed to play against Tottenham, really. Um, but we bounced back from the 4-0 defeat to Tottenham and came back with a 4-0 victory of our own. Um, a couple of really, really interesting things happen in this game, which of course we will get into. And we now know who will play in the quarterfinals and likely semi-finals, looking at the draw and what teams are actually involved. So without further ado, if you are enjoying the content, obviously we had a great little uh, bump on the channel recently. Leave a like, subscribe for more Aston Villa related content. Let's get into my player ratings for the Villa Ajax game. So as you can see on the screen next to me, my player ratings, and there's a couple of things that we need to go through because a couple of early subs were made in this game. And one of them, indeed, I am very, very glad to see come back and how he played. But as you can see, uh, Martinez, I would give a six. He did keep a clean sheet, but it was like, you know, I think if anyone watched the game, he didn't really have too much to do. Ajax were pretty nullified by how we played and couldn't really get anything going. Uh, Moreno, again, a six. Pau, a six, didn't really notice them too much. They didn't have much to do, though. So it's not like they played bad. They just didn't really have much to do. Um, and then we move on to Diego Carlos, who did come off, I think, in about the 70th minute. Um, I'm going to give him an eight because I'll tell you, Brian Brobby really caused issues in the first game. His physicality, everything about him, he was just running Villa ragged. But Diego Carlos absolutely nullified that threat. Um, and he was ragdolling Brobby at some points. I feel like we needed his physicality as well. So really, really glad to have him back in the team. Uh, Cash, again, a six for me. Nothing special, but didn't play bad. Uh, Rogers a six, got subbed off at half time understandable he got a really early yellow card and he really seems to put himself about in the championship you can get away with those types of things not when you're playing in the big leagues. i'm sure he'll learn that under emery though uh, mcginn and louise are seven i think they both bossed the midfield quite comfortably and then my man of the match scored an absolutely fantastic goal leon bailey what do i well you know what did i say in the tottenham uh, review Back to goal, is he that fantastic? No, you're nullifying what he brings and what he threatens when he plays the game. But in this kind of you know, formation when he just can get the ball and run at people, I mean, God, his goal, his goal was fantastic and easily my man of the match. Then we have Watkins, I gave him an eight, really, really good. It's not a serious injury, don't worry everyone, it's just a cut to his knee. I think he'll be back for the West Ham game on Sunday. Um, and again, still scored a fantastic header. Heading really something that he's adding to his game, I think, this season more than other seasons. I've noticed him more this season. And he is leaping like a salmon. And then Diaby, again, got a fantastic goal. And I'll give him an eight as well. He looked like he could be getting his confidence back, which is very good for us in the running of this season. Uh, and I want to talk about a couple of the subs. Tielemans, uh, Longley, people like that didn't really have time. Tim, actually, Arognum looked good, but didn't really have time to impact the game like in any mad way. But he is back. Our, the finest Colombian export since... Well, I'll let you guys fill in those those blanks, but it is John Duran, and he scored an absolute thumper. He is just, he looks so threatening. Say what you want about his attitude and his off the field stuff and taking Villa out of his bio and Instagram. Who cares when the kid is 19, 20 years old? The physicality of a monster and scoring goals like that. I think he is going to be really, really important. We have a proper second striker back, at least on the sub bench, a fantastic option. And I think he could go on to be a really, really top, top player. And his goal today, or not today, whenever we played Ajax, was brilliant. But let's get into the game. Let's break it down a little, little bit more. Uh, and what I think about the draws as well, because we do know the quarterfinal and semi final draws. So as you can see here, the match stats, we dominated Ajax. They had two shots the whole game. Game, only one on target more possession than us which is actually funny I feel like we played a lot more of a counter-attacking game this game but it didn't come across like that on the TV at all I literally didn't really threaten our goal once properly that I can really remember um, you know, more passes than us, fine. They had the possession. That's Ajax in a T, isn't it? It's possession-based football. That's how they play over in Netherlands. But again, 13 shots for us, 8 shots on target. 
see you later boys and the 4-0 goal so if we look at the quarterfinals um, we're playing Lusk Lille uh, ex-United uh, star boy really Angel Gomez leading up their team obviously the preview of that game will be coming out very very soon when we do get on to playing them uh, and then in the semi-final I would assume if I scroll across here we're going to be playing uh, Fenerbahce uh, this Fenerbahce versus Olympiacos obviously Olympiacos could pull a result out but you'd back Fenerbahce so if we get past Lusk Lille first leg at home at Villa Park we will be playing in probably Fenerbahce so what do I think about all of the stuff that has happened fantastic this is the villa we all wanted to see it's going to give us confidence going into the West Ham game we've got a couple of players back from injury Watkins and Carlos the injuries don't hopefully seem too serious Jacob Ramsey will be back soon yes we've lost McGinn but I thought Tim Rogbenham looked fantastic in this Ajax game when he had his short cameo from the bench Morgan Rogers is getting to where we want him to be he had a couple of bright spells just needs to work on getting those yellow cards in like the 10th minute um, but this is so exciting guys it's such an exciting time to be a Villa fan the Tottenham game we're going to put that in the past now we focus on West Ham I'll be filming my preview which will come out probably on the same day as this it's a good time to be a Villa fan boys up the Villa Ajax are gone lost Lille next we'll see you at Villa Park boys we'll see you at Villa Park <laughs>